Shalom and welcome with Bindernowski. Now in this video I want to share a vision I had, which actually doesn't happen very often. It's not an open vision, but very clear. This is almost open. It came to me on day 12, month 12 of the Gregorian year 2022. So please ask the Holy Spirit for more wisdom and understanding in this case, also for revelation and as much as necessary for interpretation, I give my comment on it, but it's up to you to ask the Lord yourself. So I share this vision and may I find some proper words and some, some sorts of interpretation. So it was about 5.35 in the morning. I was not sleeping. I'm not sure, but it came maybe, I think it was after breakfast. Uh, but I didn't make a note, so if it was just before or after. But I'm just going into it and I'm trying to describe as much as possible. I see a dark cloud on the horizon that heads toward us like a, bar like a barrel. The barrel rotates, and this is like a, maybe like a whirlwind, but a cloud. Now horizontally, so a movement of the cloud is... Okay, it's not the best example, but you know, like a paint roller I have here. And it, when you move forward, you're going into that direction. But, but the cloud itself in the vision that was like, it was this way. So it maybe like a cleaning brush of, you know, low road cleaning. They have these rotating brushes. And so they, so the clouds were much bigger and it was dark was not, yeah, that's also a little bit dark, but that's another subject. I mean, dark spots, dark dirt. But it's, it's not only clouds, it's more than only clouds, it's like a substance. Uh, it's hard or almost impossible to describe. It's a cloud, but it's tangible. Uh, not like, like this paint roller, but also not like a sandstorm, which is somehow tangible. It's like a, if there's any kind of a physical appearance, maybe some kind of oil spinning in the air or whatever, a honey or not water. It's, you won't get wet from it, but it's cloud. And that cl cloud comes closer and closer, coming from the horizon. And everything on the way will get turned and scrunched. So like a, almost like a, you know, the, the, I don't know the English proper word for that, the cultivator where you work in the garden, but they ground also like forward, but this goes backwards and everything gets just in pieces. And there is so. And, and while it's rolling there, it's, I see a white, slightly yellowish, you know, like golden uh, light, which basically slice the cloud open. So it comes here, it's hard to hold and show with two hands at the same time. Like it slices the cloud, like in a 45 degree angle. And, but that light appears for a very brief moment. But then the cloud barrel is scattered. It's all over. But it's not spinning, it's just the pieces. And after that, I see, like I'm got lifted up, the surface of the earth, blue and white. Uh, it's a round disk. Actually, the colors, like those, from these outer space satellites or the ISS or whatever hovers around the balloons. Uh, the Earth, if the Earth is a ball or a plate, I cannot recognize because it doesn't seem to have curvature. It's just a round thing. And I only see parts of the blue and the rest are covered in smoke. Every now and then, Parts get scattered around 
from that cloud. So by that section, the earth are visible to some sections and others not. Everything just floats around back and forth. And finally, which is a little bit surprising, the words came out of nowhere, out or somewhere, I say, man and woman, man, man, man. Oh, woman, no more. So this was basically the end of the vision with these words at the end, audible, in the vision. The words themselves sounded to me somehow like we use to say enough is enough. It is finished. Time's up. It's done. And the whirlwind, the dark cloud at the horizon that is heading very fast towards the whole world, I would say, is judgment. And when we see the world in this wickedness and evil and sin, judgment is just inevitable. Where it starts and how it moves, I can't say. But when I saw the world, it appeared it's just all over. You know, when I saw it from above, it's just all over, somewhere seemed to me in a random form. Might be some clear pattern, but for me it looked like random. Uh, what it could mean might be unpredictable disasters in various places, or the judgment in here and there, and so also unpredictable when and where it hits next. Which means for us, we should be ready anytime, everywhere. And the words at the end, the three times man and then O oh, woman. In a human form, if I would say it, it uh, could indicate that, I, I mean, if I would say it like this, you know, I would say, you know, to a bunch of people, you know, women and men and women, I would say, I give up to deal with them. It's, they don't, they don't change, they don't turn, they don't repent, they, they just continue to live in, on and on. Like there's no hope or that it will like ever hear or cry. They will ever hear the cry of repentance to turn from the ways of destruction. Or like a desperate call or forget it. That's maybe mingled with, with some human mind, the loads of judgment. So when the judgment comes, uh, brace yourself in Yeshua, in Yeshua. Because in him and under the shelter of the wings of the Most High, yud hei wa we can find protection from all the judgment. Seek him with all your heart, mind, soul and strength and cling as close as possible to Yeshua. Well, you can ask the Holy Spirit if he gives you more interpretation or the understanding of this vision. Now pray to be found worthy to enter his kingdom because his kingdom will last forever. And until the next video, be blessed and Adonai be with you. Shalom, shalom.